Another enhancement that's been added for AutoCAD 2011 is some great new functionality for polylines and splines. And as I've talked about in other lessons and series, there are certain times when you should use a polyline versus a line. And my philosophy has been that any object that represents a continuous, nonlinear object should be drawn as a polyline rather than as a series of separate lines. And this might be something such as an edge of paving or a building outline. A line is better to represent an object that only goes from one point to another with nothing in between such as a property line. So there are times when it's actually better to use one versus another. So let's take a look at some of the new features for polylines. I'm going to go ahead and draw a polyline here with some irregular angles and I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now if I pick on the polyline the first thing that you'll notice is that there are now some additional grips on this polyline. We still have the previous primary grips at the vertices but we also have some new secondary grips as well. And both of these have been given some new capability. First if I snap on to one of the primary grips and hover I have some new options for editing that vertex. I first have the stretch option which behaves similar to the old grip editing allowing you to move it. I also have an option here to add a vertex and this will add an additional vertex between that one selected and the next one in the order I drew it in and I can place that new vertex where I desire. Again if I select on that new vertex the last option I have on my hover menu is to delete a vertex or remove and I can remove it just as easily as I created it. Well let's now take a look at the secondary grips. If I hover over one of them I again have the familiar stretch choice and this allows me to move the entire line segment maintaining its length and orientation and it'll stretch the adjacent lines as well. Similarly I have the add vertex choice allowing me to add a new vertex on the chosen segment and creating two new additional secondary vertexes. Now if I want to remove that new vertex I just created it's now a primary grip so I would just select that remove option there. Also by selecting on one of the grips I have a choice here allowing me to convert this line segment to an arc and I like this because a lot of times you end up needing to add arcs to polylines. That grip then becomes the midpoint of a new arc and I can simply grip edit the location based on a radius. Of course now that I have an arc segment in here the choices for this secondary grip also have some choices. I can again continue to stretch it changing the radius of it by relocating the midpoint. I also have the option to add another vertex which then creates two new arcs with that one being the vertex between them. I'll undo that. Also I have the choice to convert that arc back to a line segment. I also have the option to use the control key to select a sub-entity of this polyline and then the grip behavior for it is the same as if I had selected the whole polyline. 